Greetings. I am Michael Leitze of Oak Ridge National Laboratory, a United States Department of Energy facility located in Oak Ridge, Tennessee. The Department of Energy supports basic and applied research in microbial genetics with applications to biofuel production and environmental remediation. This work is supported by the Bioenergy Science Center and the Plant Microbe Interfaces Program. Welcome to our video abstract. In our study, binding motifs in bacterial gene promoters modulate transcriptional effects of global regulators. We consider the computational prediction of gene transcription levels in bacteria. This is a difficult problem. Bacterial gene regulation involves transcription factors that bind to DNA recognition sequences known as regulatory elements or transcription factor binding sites. Many bacterial transcription factors homodimerize, forming complexes of two identical proteins that recognize DNA sequences that are palindromes or inverted repeats. Some transcription factors affect the expression of hundreds of genes and are known as global regulators. Many models have been developed that predict binding sites for transcription factors or that use binding site characteristics to predict levels of transcription. Typically, models will consider a binding site's quality, represented by its similarity to a nucleotide consensus sequence or by its score from a position weight matrix. Models may also consider a binding site's location relative to transcription start or to core promoter elements. These models, however, may fail to account for transcriptional effects even when the regulon of a transcription factor is known or when transcription factor binding sites are empirically verified. In this study, we analyze the effect of half sites on transcription levels where a half site is one half of a transcription factor's palindromic binding site. This figure shows the consensus binding site in E. coli for the global regulator CRP, a sequence logo illustrating nucleotide base conservation in the binding site, and the consensus half site. We hypothesize that the number of half sites, or binding motifs as we call them, plays an important role in transcriptional regulation. We use empirical data from microarray experiments, including a study of the shift from aerobic to anaerobic respiration in E. coli, which determined gene expression levels for a wild-type strain and an ARC-A knockout strain. The ratio of these expression levels provides a measure of the impact of the ARC-A transcription factor on gene activity. We then compute the correlation of gene activity induced by a transcription factor with quality of long binding sites, counts of binding motifs in the gene promoter and the gene body, and location of binding motifs in the gene promoter. Our analyses show that the number of binding half sites predicts gene activity levels better than the quality of long symmetric binding sites as illustrated in these examples of CRP-induced gene activity in E. coli and Schuonella onidensis. Thank you for your interest in our work. For more information, please access the full paper or contact me directly at Oak Ridge National Laboratory at this email address.